welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. This is Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I have a basically clean and simple card. It has a piece of adult coloring paper from Stampin' Up! called Inside the Lines and I'm attaching a large die cut. Detailed Dragonfly Thinlets dies is beautiful and they have five dies in the set and if you choose to use one of these really detailed dragonflies then you can use it as a focal point on your card without having too much competition from adding other products. I'm using a piece of Inside the Lines designer series paper which is a free with purchase paper from Stampin' Up! that's currently available and I'm using the watercolor pencils to give it some highlights. A lot of people have approached me and they don't know how to use this paper. It's really pretty, the images are, are very pretty, but they're not really sure how to feature it on a card. It's not necessary to completely fill in all of the images on a piece of this paper in order to use it and to allow it to be a focal. What I'm doing is I'm coloring in the images of the mushrooms and mushrooms can be any color that you like. I've seen them all different colors in nature. So what I'm doing is I'm using the orange pencil to complement the copper foil paper and then the early espresso cardstock is also going to work together and the green that I'm using to color in these vines that are hanging down is going to be my contrast color. I'm using a blender pen to activate all of those pretty coloring pencil bits and I don't want to have a really heavy coverage. I want to just spread and activate those color pencils in a way that it allows there to be like a highlight. I could go dark and add more color but I feel that the more color that I add to this piece of coloring paper, it's just going to be in competition to the dragonfly. And I, I do want the dragonfly to be the focal point on the card. For the tree that is on the left hand side, I think it must be a birch tree. I used a combination of different colors to do um, kind of like just highlighting the little tick marks on the tree. I used gray and I went back over it with some blue and I didn't color in so much the the actual trunk area of the tree. I just went for hitting those lines because I know that that kind of a tree is mostly a light colored tree. So that's one way you could use this paper is think about what the object is that you're trying to color in and use and just kind of give it a little bit of a highlight instead of going for a perfect coloring job. I don't feel like the, the coloring job on this card is perfect by any means, but I think it's adequate enough to be able to complement the copper foil butterfly. And that's really, that's where I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let the butterfly do its job and be a intricate die cut. The panel that I've created for this project is to start off with a card base that is four and a quarter by five and a half of early espresso cardstock. And then I have a layer of brown that is three and a quarter by five. That's the largest of all of the papers that I'll be featuring on that uh, unit there. And then the next up is a copper foil at two and three quarter inch by four and a half inch. The brown paper goes down a little bit and it's two and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And then the piece of coloring paper from inside the lines is two and a half by four and a quarter inches. All of these components are separated by like an eighth of an inch, which is my basic framing. Here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this project, and if you'd like to invite, invite you over to my blog at jennystampsup.com for more card making inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, my name is Trip. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time. <laughs>